Good morning, everybody. This is Donnie. Forgive me for my voice. I am um, going through upper respiratory infection, so my voice is a little out. I feel good. I just don't sound good. But what I got for you all today, this um, is another night vision optic that was sent to me by ASICS. And I will put the description in the link below this video to their store. It's an Amazon store. And I'll also give you the link for this particular night vision. If you're interested in purchasing this unit, in the description below this video, I will have a discount link for you, a discount code. When you go uh, copy the discount code and then use that link to go to the product, which will come up on Amazon, and when you add it to your cart before you finish checking out, put that discount code in there and that'll save you about 20 bucks. All right, this is an autofocus night vision binocular. It does record, it does capture photographs. Uh, I've had the opportunity to use this thing for the better part of a week. Um, we've had a few issues that have sort of hampered me getting this out to you guys sooner. But that was on my part, on my behalf. Uh, you can get this unit in a camo version or a black version. This particular one is black. And uh, I just want to share some of the details with you. It's got a 3-inch screen, a 1080p high-definition uh, video format. It does videos. It does photographs, photographs. Uh, let me get the, the instruction sheet out. When you order this, you get the autofocus binocular night vision binocular you get a usb to type c charging cable you get a cloth carrying case and of course your instruction manual which is in english and then you get the unit i'm going to share some of the details of what this has to offer and then we're going to show you the unit then i'm going to show you some video clips, some pictures that I've taken with this unit. And this one definitely stands out from anything that I've reviewed as far as the night vision. This may be one of my favorite ones to use. And I'll explain that to you here in a moment. It has a, for the lens, it is a 5 to 50 millimeter optical autofocus lens. They sell more units like this that are not autofocus. You have to focus them manually, and they are uh, the cost is lower. But what you're getting in this unit, I, I do believe, is well worth the money, especially with the discount. Uh, it has what's called a starlight mode. Also, when the sun's going down, it's right at the point you're not in total darkness, but you do need a light if you're, you know, out. Uh, working on small items it's just dark enough you can't quite see good uh, you can see out in front of you but uh, it, it's pretty dark you're 10 minutes from total darkness it has this starlight mode it's uh, what I, I've been referencing it as twilight and um, it records in full color one of the clips I'm going to show you I may put it up first I was in my front yard. It was almost 10 o'clock at night. Total darkness with the exception of a street light out by the road. And everything's in color. Everything's lit up. The greens are brilliant green. It's not black and white like 99% of night vision units that are on the market today. Uh, the battery in this one, it is a built-in battery. You do not have to change batteries. When it gets low, plug it up, charge it with the provided USB-C Type-C charger. It takes 30 minutes to fully charge it. You get eight hours operation time of using the unit before you need to charge it again. The battery is a 3.7 volt, 8,000 milliamp hour battery. If I'm not mistaken, I believe that is the 18650 batteries, but they are built in. 
and it's not designed for you to take the batteries out and change them. You just plug it up and charge it, but it only takes 30 minutes. All right, um, the working temperature, negative 15 degrees Celsius to 65 degrees Celsius. I do not know what that equates to in Fahrenheit, but I've been using it. We're, we are in a heat spell down here. It was 106 day before yesterday. I used it out in the heat. Uh, our heat index has been anywhere from 112 to 124, and it's worked flawlessly. No issues. It never once overheated, never shut off, except when I hit the power button and turned it off. All right, the video resolution, um, I want to get to that. I want to give you guys the, the specs on it, on all of it, if I can get this manual to open correctly. Here we go. All right, for your camera mode, your photo mode, taking pictures, you have the option of the VGA format, which is 640 megapixel by 480. You have the one megapixel, the two megapixel, three, five, eight, and 10 megapixel options for taking pictures. You have quick preview. That's when you take a picture and your photograph will appear on the screen for a designated amount of time. And with this one, I don't use that feature personally. I did test it, it does work, um, but I don't use it. You can turn it off. You could set it to show you a preview for two seconds or the picture will show up for five seconds before it goes away and it goes back into, into photo mode. Image quality is your high quality, which is high definition, your standard quality and economy mode. It does have image stabilization. It is called anti-shake. It's got burst mode where it'll take a succession of pictures, one press, and it'll take a succession. Um, it has timer mode. You can set your timer. No, you can set it to take one picture, then you can set your timer to two seconds, five seconds, and 10 seconds. And that works. You set it on a tripod, aim it at your subject, uh, whether it be you, someone else, whatever the target may be. And if you set it for 10 seconds on the timer, when you hit the photograph button, it'll wait 10 seconds before it takes a picture. And again, you got two second, five second, 10 second. Um, it's got loop recording. Your resolutions for video recording is 720p and 1080p. It does, uh, you can turn date stamp on. It'll put the date stamp at the bottom of the mode. Um, a bit, I'm sorry, at the bottom of your picture or your video. Um, you can format your card, your video card from the, um, from the menu. Uh, you can set the different languages in this unit for those of you that are overseas. Uh, they have traditional Chinese, simplified Chinese, English, Russian, Japanese, Korean, French, German, Spanish, and Italian. 10 different languages. It's got the auto power off. I do use that and it does work. On this one, you can turn it off where it'll stay on until you turn it off yourself or until the battery runs down. Uh, it has a three minute auto turn off, a five minute and a 10 minute. I'm trying to find the other details. Um, oh, when you, you are when you're filming with it or taking a picture, when you zoom in on the bottom of the display, you will see the word detecting and it'll be flashing. It'll flash four times. At the end of the fourth flash, it is focused. On one account, it did not focus for me. And I read the instructions and it said, if it does not focus, tap your zoom in or zoom out button and it'll focus. And my understanding was you just hold the buttons down until it, it focuses in. I touched the, the zoom in function one time 
and it just it dialed in the focus automatically that was the only one time i had to use it and it definitely worked let me set this box down and i want to show you this unit all right here we are this is the unit it is lightweight you have a textured rubberized grip on each side you've got a soft rubber eyepiece a cup this is to prevent the sun glare when you're looking at the three inch display if this gets sweaty if you're bumping it on your head you're hitting it on your arms and you get it nasty pull it off it snaps off and you can wash that and this again it's soft rubber very easy to use you can really see your display quite clearly i'm not going to be able to show you uh, how it looks using the screen it's crystal clear but due to the, the frequency of the unit when i turn it on the frequency of the camera there's lines you'll see but it's not on the screen of the cam of the of this unit it is just the distortion the camera picks up the camera that i'm filming with right now and it it will be if i film with my phone it'll pick it up it's just how it operates i'll power it on where you guys can see your welcome screen will poke up and it'll just give you a few little notes and then it'll go away and now you're in view let me see if I can get it up. Maybe you guys can see some. And it's got the zoom. I'm zooming in now. And if you look at the bottom of the screen, you'll see the detecting blinking. It'll blink four times. And that's just to uh, really dial in the focus. And the autofocus on this unit is quite amazing. It is crystal clear. The footage is, is crystal clear. And when, in low light, that's where this thing really shines. When the sun goes down or before the sun comes up, it's still dark out. I was out at 10 o'clock at night and the colors I was seeing in it were just like I'm seeing right now. The greens were that bright. All of the colors were showing and I have never experienced that with any other night vision. Now, uh, to use that twilight mode, that starlight mode, <clears throat> when you power it up and you're right there at the end of the day and it's not quite fully dark out, but it's not light out either, you do not turn on your IR light. Your IR light is right here that button you click that button it goes into the, your night recording mode and it turns on the IR that mode is black and white don't turn that on I've used this in almost total darkness out at one of our hunting properties and the video was uh, just it, it was like I, I did it at daytime on a cloudy day that's what it looked like but I'm going to show you some of the video clips right now um, now guys, I was holding this. I shake really bad. The stabilization in this unit it works. I shake to the point I can't even use binoculars because I shake so bad I can't use binoculars when I'm hunting unless I have them mounted on a tripod. I'm the only person I know of that needs a tripod for binoculars. Looking out at 100 yards at a deer, I need a tripod. And that's because of my shaking. But I want you to look at these clips. There is some shaking in it. The shaking you're seeing in a standard night vision binocular like this. The, I, I've reviewed several the last couple of weeks. The other ones I'm shaking so bad it's to the point you can't even see the footage. This one eliminates n n probably 80% of the shake. And you can definitely see what I'm looking at. It maintains focus. Um, it's an amazing unit. Watch these clips. And then after, after all these clips, you guys check them out. At the very end of this, I'm going to give you my final thoughts on this unit. Let's do this.
All right. Hope you guys enjoyed uh, seeing those clips and what this little unit can do. Uh, this thing I, I didn't show you when I was going over the features and, and the different buttons. There's your memory card and your, uh, your Type-C connection for charging the unit. Right there, just behind it, is your quarter 20 mounting stud uh, threaded hole where you can screw it onto a tripod mount. My overall impression on this unit, uh, surprisingly, it is a, it's much better than I anticipated. When I took it out of the box, it's very, very lightweight. It, it literally feels like a toy. It's very light. You could carry three, four, five of these in a backpack or whatever type of bag you carry when you're out hiking and in the wilderness and it would not cause any type of fatigue. It's very light. Um, there are rubber feet on the bottom so you could place it on a table and you can record that way. I set it on the roof of my truck when I was originally testing it out and I hit record. I ended up, uh, the video was very long and I was trying to transfer it over to my phone. And with the new camera, the DJI Action 4, it, instead of creating 11 minute clips, it puts it all into one. I had about a 30 minute clip. It would not transfer, the clip was too big. DJI allows a maximum of four gigabytes that it will transfer wirelessly. The only way to get the files onto my phone, I have to upload them to the computer, use iTunes to transfer them back. Anyway, I did not use that clip. But what I done, I set it on the roof of my truck up at our property. I focused it down the road and I hit record. It's autofocus. I walked all the way down uh, as far as I had a straight shot before the road curved and I was approximately 90 to 100 yards. And I walked toward the camera, toward this binocular, going zigzagging side to side. Stand by. My apologies, that was an airplane a very low flying airplane that was pulling a banner uh, for the beach. Huge letters, warning, uh, dangerous undertow, stay on the shore. I'm 15 to 18 miles from the ocean. There's no water out here except for the swamp and he's 300 feet above the treetop. It was very, very loud. Uh, that was the lowest flying banner plane that I've seen. I think ever. Anyhow, sorry. Uh, but what I was, when I was coming up the road, I zigzagged up the road and I walked as fast as I could possibly walk, <clears throat> going back and forth. My intention was to cause the autofocus to mess up, to, um, to blur out because the target, which was me, I'm doing this and getting closer fairly quick. When I played it back, it at one point, when I got uh, maybe halfway to the truck, it blurred out and within two seconds total time, it started to blur and it sharpened right up instantly. And I don't know how they've got that technology in a unit for $200. I don't know how they were able to do that. But with that being said, um, this has been an amazing unit to use. I really, really enjoy using it. And I do foresee me putting a lot of hours into this one. I have used it enough, eight hours working time per charge of the battery. I have not timed it to 
uh, be able to verify that it'll run eight hours. But I have gotten tons of footage. I've run the battery dead two times. The third time, which was yesterday, I run it down, it, it was pretty low. It gives you a little battery icon. And as you use it, you know, the bars start drifting or, or disappearing from the battery and I was down to one bar. So I, I'm guessing I probably had another hour's worth of uh, use on it. I don't know, uh, just guessing. I plugged it in this morning, threw my boots on, grabbed my cup of water, went in there to disconnect it so that I could finish charging it on the way here with my charge cord in the truck and it was already charged. And it may have been 15 minutes, it wasn't long at all. But anyhow, worth the money? Absolutely. I really like it, I love how light it is now. The last couple that I've done reviews on um, were quite heavy with the exception of uh, two of the units. And it's really nice to carry something around this light that has the capabilities that this one has. If my friends and family, if any of you guys and gals were shopping for a unit like this, and if you were to reach out to me and ask my opinion on it, would I recommend you purchasing this unit? The answer is yes. I would absolutely recommend it. Um, it does have a microphone, but the technology for this unit is put into the night vision capabilities. Not many night vision binoculars come with microphones because usually they are uh, used for wildlife viewing, for hunting, um, for acquiring targets in a quiet environment like security purposes and you're not going to be talking and giving away your location. So the microphones that they normally put in night vision, if they put them in it, are normally low quality. They, they put no technology into the audio and that goes for 90% of the companies on the market today outside of military grade. The technology in this has been put into the capabilities of night vision and the starlight mode. The starlight mode is just, it blew me away. Every time I use it, it blows me away. I can't believe how brilliant all the colors are and you're in darkness. And I don't know how they pulled that off. I've never seen that. It's new to me. It may be a technology that's been out there for some time, but I've never seen it. And I really, really, like this unit. I thoroughly enjoyed doing this review on it. So if any of you are interested and you want to get one for yourself or if you just want to look into it, below in the description I've got the discount code for you to use to purchase one. The code is only good until the last day of this month, August 2023. After that, you have to pay full price. Uh, I will also include the link for this exact binocular, and I will include the link for the company, the manufacturer's store, which is on Amazon. I have been back and forth with email correspondence to my buddy Andy, who works for this company. He's the one that made all this happen to where we could review this item. He's been an amazing help. There were a couple of things I just couldn't figure out. I am not tech savvy at all. And he was more than happy to guide me through it step by step. I mean, he's been a huge help. And the customer service has been fantastic. Um, their correspondence with answering my many, many emails, he has answered every email thoroughly, uh, thoroughly answered them in great detail and I'm very appreciative. Thank you, Andy, if you're watching this, and for the rest of you, thank you for hanging out with me today. If you're looking for a night vision unit, jump out there and grab one of these while you can. Use the discount code. It's good, and the last day of the code is August 31st. 
it will save you, save you roughly 20 to 21 dollars off the price of this guys y'all have a good afternoon a good day be blessed in all you do keep your notifications on if you're interested in reviews like this uh, I've got more coming. I've got some trail cameras. Just uh, you guys know that I love doing reviews. I enjoy it. Our channel's not monetized. I make nothing at all, no money whatsoever from doing these reviews. It's just something I like to do. When we can save these companies a little money in marketing by not charging them to review their items, that savings gets passed on to us, the consumer. And it's all about helping my family and friends which is you all and besides that i like trying out new things anyway y'all have a good day and i'll see you down the road god bless you